It's true, you can laser engrave color onto metals such as stainless steel, but how easy is it? How long does it take and what kind of products can you even make? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Well, I've got some tests and I have a lot of information you should know if you are looking into color engraving capable lasers, such as this 10 watt diode slash three watt infrared laser that we create Lumos. Let's get some examples made and find out all about it. So what is a MOPA? The color engraving is achieved by manipulating the laser's pulse duration and frequency with a MOPA, which stands for a Master Oscillator Power Amplifier, MOPA, laser system. And how does this work? Well, the Master Oscillator, which is an awesome name, a Master Oscillator generates a low power laser signal that controls the pulse duration and frequency and PA power amplifier. This then boosts the strength of the laser signal without altering its original pulse properties, resulting in a high powered, precise laser beam. And now you know, just in case anyone asks, or if you do trivia, you never know when it's gonna come up. <laughs> how to set up color engraving with a WeCreate Lumos. Let's quickly go over how to set up a color engraving. I've divided the video into chapters if you'd like to skip to the results, but there are some added information sprinkled into here. So first step, let's make sure the material you have is stainless steel. This is the best material to do the initial testing because it will produce the best colors, but other metals will have some range more about that later. Next, ensure that you have version 3.0.1 of the We Create Make It program. Turn on your laser and connect it to the Make It program. Switch to the red light in the upper right hand corner. This is important. On the left hand side, there is a toolbox button. Click that and find the color engraving test option. A window will now pop up. Choose whichever setting you'd like to try. I suggest leaving the settings alone for the first time so you kind of get a handle on it. Scale it down and put it wherever you want. There will be a blue frame in the laser around where it is on the computer so you can line it up to your material. Make sure it is also focused on your material. A flat thing will work best. Set it to go and once it's done, pick any color that you like. An array of colors will be made no matter which of these that you choose. That is just going to tell it the focal point to go to and then we'll see which colors it can produce. Once selected, you'll see the machine moves itself up into that specific focal measurement. And don't change it, don't touch it, don't do nothing. Here's how it essentially works. It changes the focus points and wavelengths to make the colors, but the settings are sensitive to that exact thickness of your material, so don't try to refocus it. The red and blue dots will not be on top of each other anymore. Just leave them alone. Now set up the color array to the blue outline frame on your material and send it out to the laser. You can now assign colors in your laser project to whichever speed and power setting from this particular color array. And make sure you double check that all your engraving settings are also set to 300 for the density. Make sure the color engraving toggle is switched on, line up your project with the frame function and start color engraving. If you find a color setting to your liking for like a thin keychain and you tried to use the same settings on a thick flask, the results would be vastly different because we are setting the colors to this exact focal point for this exact object, the keychain. So essentially every time we want to color engrave something, we are going to need to at least start with this color array and focusing process before we make our projects. So we're gonna do this a lot of times. Let's engrave some stainless steel light switch covers. Now these were $15 for a set of 10, so they're only a buck 50 each. I have to sacrifice at least one of these to test the settings. Here's where I initially went wrong. At first, I engraved the array onto the back side of the covers and got this result. Then I input all the color settings, flipped over the cover, refocused it, and started the engraving. This is why I just told you why you shouldn't do that. 
it turned into this. The colors were barely there because I was way off in the material thickness since I flipped it. And even though I refocused it because it's not supposed to be exactly in focus. The next one, I forgot to make sure the color engraving toggle was on, important step. So it engraved normally. I did get somewhat different shades on there though. So like all these dark brown colors, which is nice, but it's not quite what I was going for. So I figure all that out and did a color array test on the same surface with the same thickness where I wanted the color engraving to be. Once set up for reels this time, it took about 50 minutes. Not bad, you could easily do something else while this is going on like we do with a lot of our laser jobs. I went ahead and lasered another one out while the settings were still set for this exact type of light switch cover. You could alter the design in the computer, but don't bother putting in any other materials under these settings. You cannot take a picture of the laser bed while it's in this mode, so utilize the framing function to get your objects in line. You can also select one object to frame separately, which helped me align the screw hole engraving seen here so everything looked great. I whipped out a couple of these light switch covers easy enough, because the settings are so fiddly, I recommend if you get into this for your cool laser business, you make as many of something as you can while you have the settings exactly where you want them. So how long does color engraving take? For some people, they say it takes forever for anything to engrave. For anyone who has a 3D printer, waiting an hour for a relatively small five color design is nothing, especially those 3D printed jobs that take like five sessions for 12 hours each to print. This large engraving is coming in at around three hours. It goes through each color one shape at a time at 300 line density. So it makes sense why it takes so long to engrave this. But the smaller and simpler the design, the faster it's going to go. Why should I bother color engraving? Here's three key business advantages why you should consider color engraving. First, aesthetic appeal. This is a big one. Color engraving transforms a standard stainless steel object from something functional into a piece of art, really. This is pretty fun stuff. The results are visually stunning and immediately grabs attention. Two, market differentiation. How many people in your area are offering vibrant multicolor engravings on metal? I bet the answer is probably not very many. This immediately sets you apart from your competition and allows you to capture a unique corner of the market. So something to consider there. Three, high perceived value. Because the service is so unique and visually impressive, customers could be willing to pay a little bit more for it. You're not selling a commodity so much as you're selling a specialty service. This allows you to charge more for custom items like jewelry, personalized tech gadgets, and high-end gifts. There are some material limitations, however. The color engraving effect is a result of specific type of oxidation on the metal's surface. This means it only works consistently on certain materials, primarily stainless steel, titanium's really nice, and brass. You can't just slap a piece of aluminum or say copper under the laser and expect a rainbow. Testing is key and you will quickly learn what works and what doesn't. Plus, it's encouraged to seal up your color projects as sweat, humidity, or possible products can alter the color over time. So these light switch covers, I'm going to need to seal those up. So the bottom line, is it worth it? Is adding this service really worth it for your laser business? Now that is totally on you. It depends on what you're already specializing in. Would adding a color engraved light switch cover make sense for your customers and your product line or jewelry pendants or flasks for that matter? Because of the time limitations, this is not for mass production, but it is a super fun tool for offering unique, high value custom work that there's very little competition for. I'd really love to know your thoughts on this matter. Color engraving, is it something you'd like to try? What kind of products would you even make with it? If you'd like to see what else this Lumos can do, check out my links down below. We create run specials all the time, so give them a glance. If you'd like to see what it's like taking this portable laser to a cat convention, then check out this video next. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.